Hi, I'm Tony. Uh, I'm a freelancer working on embedded systems at um, a day, and for breakfast I code game console emulators. So this talk is actually an extension of my talk on Monday about emulating the Nintendo 3DS with generative and declarative programming. And this talk wasn't quite long enough, so I kind of had to put some stuff into a lightning talk. Um, no, I don't actually want to show you this one. So the question I've been asking myself is, what is the best feature in C++11? Well, obviously, it's uh, curly brace initialization. Curly brace initialization uh, avoids the most vexing paths. It um, allows type narrowing and all of these kind of very evil things. So let's just take a look, a very quick look at this. So a very simple example. Previously, this wasn't possible, you know, initializing a vector with uh, parentheses, but thanks to C++11, we can just use curly braces and it just works. Assuming I can back, get my terminal back on. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, this is not good. Getting there, getting there. There we go, so it doesn't output anything, but it compiles, you know. <laughs> That's all we care about. Uh, it also works for custom structures, I don't need to show you that one, so this is just a constructor doing stuff, uh, and we can also use the curly brace syntax. So the question I've been asking myself though, since curly braces obviously bring so many benefits to the language, can we use them in more places? Can we replace more parentheses with curly braces? <laughs> And if you think that's utter nonsense, then I beg you, please stop being so serious. This is a lightning talk session, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've been thinking about a number of possible attempts. Um, this is just like some example code. We have a function do stuff, it does stuff. And we call it with parentheses, and obviously this is just horrible, come on. So my attempt of fixing this is, uh, using brace initialization, because we've been thinking about brace initialization completely wrong. It's not actually initializing things, it's calling a function, because it's calling the constructor, and that's just, you know, yet another function. So what we want to do is we want to write a class which has a constructor which calls the actual function that we have. And that allows us to conveniently call my type with uh, the arguments that are then given to do stuff. So if we compile this, it calls our function with the given arguments. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now remind me again, where did I ever actually want to go with this? Let's, let's see in the next snippet. Right, the actual serious part of this talk. So it turns out the function call with parentheses has an actual issue, and that is when you, um, this is a somewhat more complicated expression. So here we call do stuff. Let me actually make this a little bit bigger even. Do stuff with an three times incremented number argument. And if you compile this, five, that puts a warning. We ignore that because, you know, nobody reads warnings. Um, it works fine. Okay, hmm. Let's try a different compiler. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, curly braces make everything better. Let's try the curly brace syntax. You can see, it's the same class as before, but now we are, so now it's called curly call, I think I believe, and it uses brace syntax. And it just works. So question might be now, why does it work? Well, this is where my fourth window comes in. The C++ standard. <laughs> <laughs> Section, uh, I'd have to scroll up too much. Just full text search for this thing. Um, you can read this yourself, but basically what it says is that within an initializer list, all the arguments that follow are evaluated strictly in sequence. And that is precisely what we want for uh, our code snippet here. So we want to have this expression evaluated first, and basically in order. So that's nice. Um, you might just, you know, 
write these things out manually yourself and assign them to variables and stuff, but yeah, that's boring. Plus, there's an actual use case to this, which is in my talk, you can look at this. 